The standard curve data is provided for you, but you should understand how it's collected. Start by labeling a tube for the blank and a series of five test tubes, one for each point on your curve, 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100% oxygenation. Begin by transferring 2 milliliters of your hemolysate to the 100% tube and let it warm up. Once it's warmed up, wipe off the tube, place it in the spectrophotometer, and take your reading. Place 2.5 milliliters of the hemolysate in the sidearm tube attached to the vacuum system. Seal the tube with the rubber stopper and slowly open the vacuum until it reaches its highest vacuum pressure possible. This will cause the hemolysate to bubble up and jump in the tube. Set your timer for 5 minutes, then pick up the tube and shake it carefully. You want to keep it more upright because the high vacuum pressure will cause the hemolysate to bubble up quite a lot and you want to try and keep it out of the vacuum tubing. After 5 minutes, the hemolysate should be fully deoxygenated. Turn off the vacuum and transfer the contents to the 0% oxygenation tube. Wipe off the tube, place it in the spectrophotometer, and take the reading. Repeat the procedure to deoxygenate another sample of hemolysate. When the hemolysate sample is fully deoxygenated, get ready to set up the 50% oxygenation tube. Transfer 1 milliliter of the fresh hemolysate to the 50% oxygenation tube. This part has to be done very accurately, so we'll use our micropipetters for this. Now add 1 milliliter of the fully deoxygenated hemolysate to the 50% oxygenation tube. Wipe off the tube, place it in the spectrophotometer, and take the reading. Repeat this procedure for the 25 and 75% oxygenation tubes using different volumes to get the respective percentages. Setting up the standard curve tubes can be a little confusing. Here's a diagram to show how they're mixed. 